everybody, it's Bunny, and today's video is going to be a first impressions review of a new Tarte powder foundation that just landed on my doorstep. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. And go ahead and thumbs up this video if you like me to do first impression, first review type videos. I've done a couple in the past. It's not something I feel like I do super frequently on my channel, but give me some feedback and let me know if you like these kind of videos so I know if I should make more of them. I love doing daily videos, so I'm always looking for exciting, interesting uh, type content to put on my channel. So let me know if this kind of thing is the thing that you like. Or you can also just like this video if you like my face randomly talking to you, no matter what the subject matter is. This is extremely new. I'm not even exactly sure what retailers would have this yet, but I'm assuming like Sephora and Ulta, the places that normally sell Tarte makeup. When they asked me if I wanted to sample this and they asked me what color I thought I would need, I selected fair light neutral and that's supposed to be fair to light skin with pink and yellow undertones. I never know if I'm yellow or pink and every time I've asked you guys in the past it seems to be like a 50-50 mix. Some people say it looks like I have yellow undertones. Some people say it looks like I have pink undertones. I don't know. I've also been to several different makeup counters and like even when I go to MAC and stuff like some people have told me that I have yellow undertones. Some people have told me that I have pink. It's really weird and ridiculous. I'm also kind of like up in the air right now because I'm actually like getting a tan this summer. I don't know. So I don't exactly know what color is best for my skin, but it sounded to me like this was like a good kind of like in between shade to select. And then the other thing that I have to go along with this product is the new, I'm assuming that this is new. It's new to me at least the Air Buki foundation brush and it is this cute little squatty body makeup brush that is meant specifically for this powder. Right now the only thing that I have on is my moisturizer and a little bit of under eye concealer to conceal my under eye bags. I really don't know why they're called bags. I wish that they were called like under eye pillows or something more pleasant sounding. Come on, it's ugly enough. Experience the power of Amazonian clay. I love safety seals. Ooh, this is different. I kind of like this. The sifter is actually made out of like a fabric. It's not your normal everyday run of the mill plastic sifter. Since this sifter is so different, quite apparently you're just supposed to take Take this brush and gently push down into the mesh and that is what deposits a little bit of product for you on the brush. You're supposed to tap the excess which I am doing now. And just like other powder foundations, you are supposed to rub in circular motions until you get the desired amounts like how much full coverage or light coverage that you want. I'm gonna try and go somewhere in the middle because lately, especially since it's so hot here in Texas, I'm not really looking for a full coverage foundation. Just something that kind of masks these acne blemishes and things, scars that I have going on. So let's attempt now. Sassy, 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 so sassy. Makeup application sassy, so sassy, sassy, sassy. Okay, so uh, this is the finished look, and I really did just put on a very light layer of the foundation, but at the same time, especially like if you're not like right up on my face, I feel like my acne blemishes and stuff, like uneven dark spots on my face, I feel like they are concealed for the most part. I really feel like this is both a foundation and a setting powder. I don't really feel like I need powder on top of this. And I don't think this color is bad on me either. I think that it is correct. I don't know. My face 
seems to match my neck. I'm sure some of you will say that it doesn't because it don't matter what foundation color I try. Some people just always think that my face and my neck don't look like they're the same color and I seriously think that my face and my neck are just like naturally two different colors. Because sometimes people tell me that and I'm not wearing like any makeup and I'm just like but 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 maybe I just have that phenomenon. Comment down below and let me know if you have the same difficulty if your face and your neck are just two different colors. I don't know. I can never get it exactly right, but for the most part, I don't know. I'm looking at myself and I'm feeling like myself matches myself. I have to give this product two thumbs up and I absolutely adored the last foundation that they came out with, which was an Amazonian clay full coverage foundation as well, but it was a liquid foundation and I like this even better than that product because this product is even lighter and you know, like less, I don't feel like it would like go into the creases or the lines or the wrinkles on my face. I feel like this would pretty much just stay put all day and especially for like the summer and it's really humid around here. I don't think that this would like slide off of my face if that makes any sense. Like sometimes foundation like liquid foundation like it moves. It leaves. It's got other things to do. I don't feel like this foundation would have that much of a problem. So if you're in the market to try a new foundation or if you want to try a new mineral type powder foundation, I would have to say this is a good one for you. I will try and link you to this product in the info box from the Tarte website directly just in case you want to buy it there or you can't find it at a Sephora or an Ulta in your area. So once again, don't forget to let me know down below or in the likes or something like that if you guys like these kinds of videos. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day and spending a few minutes with me to watch my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As usual, please take a minute to subscribe. If you're not already, hit that button. Become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram. Instagram at Graveyard Girl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so much and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!